Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared over x plus 5 plus 5 times x over x squared minus 5 is equal to 6. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. x squared divided by x plus 5 plus 5 times x divided by x squared minus 5 is equal to this 6 can be written as 1 plus 5. Now we move this 1 and this 5 to the left side. x squared divided by x plus 5. This plus 1 becomes negative 1 at left side. Plus this expression 5 times x divided by x squared minus 5. This plus 5 becomes negative 5 at left side is equal to 0. Now we can write the denominator of this one 1 and we take LCM of this 1 and this x plus 5. LCM of 1 and x plus 5 is x plus 5 and x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 1 1 time this x squared x squared and x plus 5 divided by 1 x plus 5 so we multiply x plus 5 by negative 1 negative 1 multiplied by x plus 5 plus we can write the denominator of this 5 1 and we take LCM of 1 and x squared minus 5. LCM of 1 and x squared minus 5 is x squared minus 5 and x squared minus 5 divided by x squared minus 5 is 1. 1 times this 5x 5 times x and x squared minus 5 divided by 1 is x squared minus 5. So we multiply this negative 5 we multiply this negative 5 by x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. Next, x squared negative 1 times x negative x negative 1 times plus 5 negative 5 divided by x plus 5 plus 5 times x, negative 5 times x squared, negative 5x squared, negative 5 times negative 5 plus 25, divided by x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. Next, x squared minus x minus 5 divided by x plus 5 plus from these three terms 5 times x minus 5 x squared plus 25 we can factor out negative 5 negative 5 as a common factor and in bracket left when we divide this negative 5 x squared by this negative 5 we get x squared and when we divide this 5 times x by this negative 5, we get negative x. And when we divide this plus 25 by this negative 5, we get negative 5 divided by x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, here we have plus and here we have negative sign. So, this plus and minus becomes minus here. So, we make this plus negative. Now, here we have x squared minus x minus 5 and here we have x squared minus x minus 5. So, we factor out this expression x squared minus x minus 5 as a common factor and in bracket left 1 divided by x plus 5 minus 5 divided by x squared 
minus 5 is equal to 0. Next, x squared minus x minus 5 times now we take the LCM of this x plus 5 and this x squared minus 5. The LCM is x plus 5 times x squared minus 5. When we divide this LCM by this x plus 5, we get x squared minus 5. So x squared minus 5 times this one x squared minus 5. And this minus will come here. Minus, when we divide this LCM by this uh, x squared minus 5, we get uh, x plus 5. So, we multiply this 5, we multiply this 5 by x plus 5 is equal to 0. Next, x squared minus x minus 5 times we simplify this expression x squared minus 5 and negative 5 times x negative 5x and negative 5 times plus 5 negative 25 divided by this expression x plus 5 times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. Next, x squared minus x minus 5 times this x squared, x squared. We write this in negative 5x first. We write here negative 5 times x and this uh, negative 5 minus 25 will become negative 30 is equal to 0. And if we multiply both sides by this expression x plus 5 times x squared minus 5, this uh, x plus 5 times x squared minus 5 will disappear. We are left with only this expression. Now from here either this expression x squared minus x minus 5 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 5 times x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, we have two quadratic equations. First, we solve this quadratic equation. This is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to negative 5. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to minus value of b minus 1 plus or minus square root of. In place of b squared, we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 5 divided by 2 times value of a 1. And x is equal to this minus and this minus becomes positive 1 plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 5 plus 20 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 20, 21 divided by 2. So, from here we get two values of x. x1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 21 divided by 2. And value of x2 is equal to 1 minus square root of 21 divided by 2. Now, to find other two solutions, we solve this quadratic equation. This is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 5 and c is equal to negative 30. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to 
minus value of b minus 5 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 5 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 30 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and x is equal to this minus and this minus becomes positive 5 plus or minus square root of this negative 5 squared is 25 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 30 plus 120 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of this 25 plus 120 145 divided by 2 so from here we get other two values of x x 3 is equal to 5 plus square root of 145 divided by 2 and x4 is equal to 5 minus square root of 145 divided by 2.